Hello friends, my name is Gaurav. And today I am going to teach you how to use the Ubuntu uh, version of the Linux operating system. The first step that I have already done is I have just installed the Ubuntu app for Windows 11. So in Windows 11 I am using Ubuntu. So the, uh, uh, if your uh, Windows directory uh, structure has C drive and D drive, in the E drive this Ubuntu data will be stored. So let me show you an uh, example of this. So see this is suppose this, this is Windows C, this is a D drive and this is a Linux drive. So the name of the Linux drive is Ubuntu because we are using Ubuntu. So now I will open the command from terminal. So in this I will just open this app. So when you click on uh, open the app, a uh, command form will be open. So Linux has is has maintained always in the command uh, mode that there should be some present working directory. So what is a work, present working directory? A present working directory is a directory in uh, which the prompt is there. So uh, suppose I am running a program. I ha I am running a program in slash home. But I want to run it in slash uh, home slash go. I will first go to that directory and then I will run that command because that command is situated in Google and it's not in home. So the, card, the, the syntax to type the present working directory is pwd. That P stands for present, W stands for working, and D stands for directory. So pwd. So here you can see the output has come on the next line that is home slash Gaurav. So uh, my name is Gaurav, so I am going to hold a Gaurav. So in, inside this file, all my user specific files will be shown. And no one other than the super user can access my data. Only the super user can access my data. So uh, what is, uh, how to uh, change the directory? Suppose I, have, I want to make a new directory. So I am, I will type the command mkdir. mkdir stands for main directory. So in mkdir I will type my new directory name is linux tuto layers. So, okay already the, so, so let me first remove it. Okay, so uh, this Linux tutorials is already there. So let me remove this directory. Okay, so let it's not deleted, so I will just make a new directory. Like, to make a new directory, I have to uh, type the command cd. cd just stands for a change directory. So in cd, you uh, linux underscore ubuntu underscore tutorials. This directory I have made. Uh, sorry, first I have to make the directory. So I have uh, I have made this directory. So, uh, this directory is there, but the current present working directory is uh, slash home slash go as we saw earlier. To change to this, we need to just write slash home slash go slash Linux Ubuntu. Tutorials. Oh, sorry, it's, I just misspelled home. So this is cd slash home slash cover slash linux underscore ubuntu underscore tutorials. So it will now, if you see the present working directory, it will be home 
that uh, Gaurav and Linux you want to do it. So uh, now suppose if I want to uh, remove this directory, I will type uh, rmdir and I will just type this. Uh, I will just uh, just I will select this and press enter for copy, and I, this is the right click I to for paste. So I am just removing this directory, so it is successful. So now uh, if I suppose if I again want to, uh, I am again want to make the directory. So I will type mkdir for so make directory and specify the name of the directory. So now I am made a directory. And in this directory, suppose I am want to make two files. So the command is cat cat and indirection operator. This is the indirection operator. This is file one dot txt. So in this, I am typing Gaura. Hello world. It's just a basic file, one line file. And suppose I want to make another file. I will write Dhanu. Hello. World and I will just close it. So now I have two files. File one is uh, file one is Gauro Hello World and file two is Dhanu Hello World. So now what I will I want to see is I want to remove a file. So I for let I have to go to the current to the I have, I have to first change it my power to present the working directory. So to change the present working directory, I I am just going to Linux Ubuntu tutorial. This is our library. I will sorry, it's your directory. So now if I want to remove only one file, I will write file one dot dxt. So Oh sorry, it's not in that. It's in the file. So I have deleted this file in the. So we will clear it first. Let us revise. So in this first, I am in now my present working directory is home Gaurav Linux Ubuntu tutorials. But now I want to change. I I want to change it. Uh, uh, create two files. So cat means create. Cat two from create and create. Uh, interaction operator. File one dot txt. So in that I am adding Gaurav. Hello. World. And I am closing it. Now again I am using the cat function to. Uh, you can say. Make create a file. So now. I have two files, file one dot txt which contains Gaurav hello world and file two dot txt which contains the hello world. So now what I want to do is I want to remove file one. So I am in this directory. I will write file one rm rm for remove dot txt. So now this is removed. So now if I uh, want to list the contents of the file, it will say that it will give an error that no file no such file and directory but if I want to uh, see the contents of the other file like cat space cat is uh, showing the contents that this will show the new hello world so we learned remove command in this so now we will move to the next command next command is uh, mb move so again uh, I, I will uh, if, uh, first create uh, I have one file f1 file two dot txt so now I will just create file one dot txt it will ask for some data so I will again type hello world so and then I'll press ctrl z to close so now I have two files uh, file one dot txt and file two txt ls stands for the list in the so in the present working directory, what are files and folders and uh, other types of in, uh, files are there in this? So now uh, I have two files: so file one dot txt and file two dot txt. So you will see the contents of file two dot txt. That is done hello world and file one dot txt. So now what if I want to move this Gaurav to them? 
तो आई विल राइट एम बी कमांड फाइल वन डॉट पी सी जो आई माई माई गौरव तो आई विल मूव इट टू सो यू कैन सी कैट फाइल टू डॉट टी एक्स टी here it will be gaurav dot hello world and it is gone because i have moved but what if i want to keep the source as well as the destination so that copy command is there it is not it is a variant of move so suppose again i have to make a file file dot txt so in this i will write gaurav shirod ka hello world and i will press close and now in the second file i will press dhanu hello world and i will press it so now after making these two files i want to copy so i will use file one dot txt which is file one dot txt which is gaurav shirodkar and i want to move it to file two dot txt So I want to copy it. Too. So it is done. So now in both the files, the data will be same. We have our hello world, which is copied, which is which was copied, and it is also like our hello world. So we have learned our copy command. So now we'll see how to echo environmental variable. So suppose there is an environmental variable called path. I will just type. This so it will show me the path variable. It is preceded by dollar sign. So suppose if I want to type the home home directory, it will be I call dollar home. You can see in this uh, output, it is there the the separator is colon. So for each binary location to be searched when installed and when running a program. Is separated by colon, so you can see here. This is slash user slash local slash has been colon slash local slash user slash local slash. So it was it will first search in this directory if the executable file is there. If it is not, then it will go for this directory. If it is not, it will go for this directory. So this is the uh, using echo command. So to echo strings, we write echo hello world. Hello world is printed. Now we will go to the compile command. So now uh, I will in this directory I will make file one dot txt. I will type gaurav shirodkar and then in cat file two comma txt. I will write nano shirodkar. In order, so I will control Z. So now I have two files. So now I I will write file one dot txt. That is Gaurav Shirodkar, and file two dot txt. That is Dhanu Shirodkar. So now I this is the com cmd command takes two arguments, one with uh for both the files. I have to show the difference. So now. Then define by line by byte one line one, so you can see uh, the uh, it is showing file one dot txt file differ, so means there is it is different ones, and by byte one on line one is the first uh, different characters. So yeah. if, so the logic is that the cmp command and files for first. Uh, a different thing. It will print the first error. Now to uh, play it more properly, we have the diff command. So in diff command, we get the uh, uh, exact details. You see here, it's one C one. So it means the first column and all uh, of the two lines are are different. So D is different than D. That, that is the logic of this. So suppose I want to yeah. now you can see 
This is a detailed version. So it is starting now. We will study other target. Suppose now I uh, use a uh, uh, suppose if I use this file hello go I will just copy this Dina I will just copy this file you can say current path is home gaura and inside home inside home gaura there is linux one two tutorials so i copy it so it is in there so now i will go to linux ubuntu One two tutorials. Now in this, this tar dot gz file is there. So gz stands for uh, zip. So to unzip that, I will type g unzip. G unzip and the name of the uh, file compressed with. Uh, so again, I will just copy, paste, and then it will be unzip. So now you see here is. It is just the GZ is gone and only tar is left. Now for uh, extracting all the uh, files from the tar, I will just write tar tar command X for execution extraction sorry and F for force field. There is so many files will come. So now we will do ls and you can see that this file. Is been done and I'm I have successfully extracted the file. So the steps again I will tell you. First go to the uh, uh, directory in which the tar dot gz file is there. Then do g unzip. Then uh, do tar xf on that tar and then this is installed. So we now we will uh, go to compress function. Suppose I I I have a large file. So I will just open GL. GL is a graphical editor uh, installed in Viva 2. So it has features like Notepad. To run up, uh, to open a GL, just type gedit space run.txt. So I, a window will open, which will be run.txt. So in that, I will write some command. So this is my command. This is the foreign.txt. Now so ls run.txt. You can see now in this from uh, if you see I will type compress run uh, before uh, before I think uh, we compress we should know the size uh, so we will do word count minus minus character run dot txt so 80 core characters are there now I compress it I will compress this run dot txt and, uh, and again I will see Seventy-eight. So we can see that the compression algorithm has saved uh, six bytes from eighty-four to seventy-three. So now uh, we will go to the wc command. Uh, wc minus minus l run dot txt dot. Let us first uncompress it. Uncompress. 
run.txt.z dot dot so now the, we have uncompressed it and if you ls you will find that the run.txt is without the z extension of compressed so this is uncompressed now what we will do is we will just run uh, uh, count the number of characters in the run dot txt so it will be word count minus c wc minus c, c run dot txt so 84 so now it, in the end it is 5 so 5 lines are there alpha line and words so eight, 10 words are there total so suppose i want to run all so i can write wc minus c lw run dot txt so all are so now we studied about uh, compression. Now we will study about un uh, un uh, encoding and unencoding. So encoding and unencoding is done using Lampel's algorithm, and the complex function also uses the Lampel's algorithm for encoding. So you 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 encode. In you encode, I write. Uh, File one dot txt. So where is it? Yeah. So before that, I think we should uh, this version of. It's a I think it's you and code is deprecated, so it's not it's not working in my system. So uh, I uh, sorry for the uh, uh, trouble, but you uh, and code is code is not available in my uh, system. So we will move to some other commands. And we will uh, now uh, uh, start with. Uh, the find function. So every operating system has to have a mechanism to find uh, files. So now suppose I want to find the uh, txt files in the current folder. So I will type find in home in Gaura in home in Gaura all the files which are minus name which are escape character text files so this minus name stands for the uh, name or test so go find command is a has many tests like it has many uh, terms and conditions to satisfy so the first term and condition is name name stands for the uh, pattern so uh, if i write star or txt it will it means that uh, and this backslash is essential. This backslash is not relevant. This command will not run. So suppose if I I remove this backslash, it must is it is showing error. Instead of that, it we have to space backslash. So uh, now you can see all the text files in my directory. All the text files it is showing. So now uh, this was done find basic command so now i will type find i want to uh, list all the directories so this is a test folder and uh, i want to test type d so default directory so you can see here so many directories are there so now uh, we will see the some basic uh, i so again i will look at file one dot txt so gauram shirodkar shirodkar and gauram so this is file so what will happen now if i type unique file dot txt it will show only the lines which are uh, not repeated consecutively. So see, see this is zero car has come two times in the consecutive. So it is by one. Gaurav also has come two times, but 
it is not continuous that's why it's not present come so that was unique so now suppose i have a file and again i will that file.txt so it is like the it is a uh, large line so i will what i will do is i will just fold minus the number of characters on each line there is a big line with there is 20 and the name of the file so file.txt so this fold command just see you can see only 20 characters are there in one line it is wrapped around so this was about the uh, unique command now paste command suppose i have two files file1.txt in that file i will write gaurav shirodkar meena shirodkar meena shirodkar so uh, and that is it now I have another file that is written 20, 20, 30, 30, 40, 30. Yeah. Yeah. So now these two files are uh, present in the Linux underscore YouTube you want to underscore tutorials. So what I, I want to uh, join this each line from file one to file two. So what I will do is I will just uh, write paste command paste and first command is the uh, first file and second command is the second file. So uh, the output has come Gaurav 2020 Shirodkar 3030. Nima 4030 and Shirodkar 1020. So this is the paste command. So now we will move to the next uh, command. So we will go to the join command. The join command has to uh, does a partition a product join on uh, two tables so suppose i i have if i have in my data i have two i have two tables in form of text files sorry i will just so i have suppose uh vara malad eight then Arya Pandivli 7. So this is the first. Then again I want file2.txt. Then I will write the location Malar and its uh, and its uh, surname Zobrek. Enter. Uh, I will write Kadivli Paste Shiroda. So, this is the two files. Now I want to make a join. So, there are two types of join. One is the which you, which you suppose I have type join and I type minus one and one. It, it means it will use the field number one of the first uh, table so it it will uh, uh, check uh, for Swara Arya as the in the join condition but uh, suppose if I want to type uh, I want uh, the uh, first I want the uh, sorry I want in the join condition the, the first the, the second row of the the second column of the first row so 
it is malad here you can see it swara malad it so this is our join condition uh, after the join condition i want to print of the result i want to print uh, uh, since this is a join uh, it will be match and will be swara 8 is over here so uh, so i want 1.1 so first i i uh, the result uh, i want the first row first column comma first row second column and then i want to store the output uh, uh, on on standard output so this is file1.txt and file2.txt so this is my uh, the command so now we will see arya swara malar nalya pandi so how this has come see this is minus 1 2 so it has come as first uh, table For second, uh, so Malad. So Malad is there in this table, and Kandivli is there in this table. So the jo so these two are joined. So suppose if I type so I, uh, so I have typed. So this Malad is matched with Malad and Zogeka, but I have uh, outputted this 1.1 and 1.2. That is the uh, 1.1 and 1.2. Comma separated. 1.1 means what? It is the first row. Uh, uh, first row uh, of of the first table. And for second row of the first table. So these two are uh, Swara Malad and, and Arya Padim. So how to locate where your command is? Command uh, command executable file is. So we will study like this. So which suppose I want to find what is the uh, user bin. Say user bin find. See you can see. It. So now in uh, if I want to find multiple, I will skip. I have multiple man command and copy command. So man command is user bin. Copy is user bin command. So now we will have a cook. A user local bin have it. So this is the which. Now how I want to uh, generate the uh, avish file type it. So to prove that use a file command. File command file one. Not txt. So ASCII test. The ASCII test. Fine. So now suppose I want to store uh, the result of one operation, but not to ex. Uh, not to uh, change that. The uh, 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 result. So for that we use the T command. T double E. Suppose if I have a uh, that F one. File one dot txt slash t transcript slash file two dot txt. So you can see. Arya and Swara. Arya has come first, and Swara has come last. Look, A is the ascending order. So now, if I see the transcript file, it will be Swara eight, and so the it will be stored. But it can't be changed. So 
work it just shows the t the t command so now if i suppose i want to have a checksum of a file the file checksum is 3349 and uh, suppose then i change this file if i change this file to let's say Oh, and then control Z. Now I will again check some. The check some is okay. So now seeing the looking at the check some, you can find that the data integrity is present. So the data has not been tampered with. So now uh, these were the basic commands. Now we will uh, see on the one uh, grep and other commands. So. First, we will see grep minus L power one. Now, we will see the BIM editor. So we are file one dot phd. So here I am now in the command mode. So, so from command mode, I have to build type one. So I am mean now insert mode. So I will. This is hello world from pi editor. So now how to go? To the uh, next uh, the home for, for one page forward, so it is control and so it will go to the end of the page. Suppose I want to go, I have now pressing control home, it is going to the home of the page. So, suppose I want to uh, delete, I am just press delete backspace. backspace. So this is uh, well. So it, uh, the status line shows if you are next. Right. So now I want to uh, save this way. So now this is in the buffer, but this these lines are not uh, saved. So I press escape, then colon, and W, then Q, enter. So now I will just Edit file one dot txt. So this is hello world from the editor has come. So we have started with the basics of the PI editor. Now we will move number to uh, the other commands of PI. So the first uh, the first command okay. 